I hi. Okay, let's. I don't know, like. Like, I don't know. Ariana was just right. Like, her parallel parking pose, like. Like, I don't know. She did something with that. She really did something with that. Like, it's so cute. It's just. It's so. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Okay, but today I wanna to talk about comprehension skills. And the reason I wanna talk about it is because I've really seen, like when we have like specific examples of just a trending topic in media, people are just like, oh, this and that and this and that. And people just argue, but they're not arguing with the point that was said or stated. I don't know, y'all seen the Ebony K. Williams thing. I don't really wanna talk about that, but let's kinda of just talk about it for a little bit. So basically she said, I don't wanna date a bus driver. And like that just turned into like a whole conversation in itself. People were like, you don't wanna date a bus driver, why? And then some people were mad, some people were happy. Like some people just seemed to not care. And they were like, oh, you're kind of wrong. And some people didn't care. And they were like, oh, I guess you're right. Like you can have your opinion. But overall, I don't really wanna talk about her opinion cause I, I don't know, like it's just, okay, that's your opinion. But the thing is, people were like, you don't wanna date a bus driver. Why are you putting bus drivers down? So us as bus drivers, we're beneath you. And it was just like, people were going out of pocket with their responses because she never said that. She said, I don't wanna date a bus driver. She didn't disrespect you. She didn't disrespect anybody. She didn't say they're beneath her, none of that. But the way that people already wanted to argue with her point, they just changed what she said and then said, mm, I'm going to argue with the point that I made in my head, not with what you said. And that's why I'm just like reading comprehension. I don't know, reading comprehension, listening comprehension, all of those skills need to be taught in school or something because, 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 I don't know. Like, it's just weird though, because she said something. And even if you want to argue with what she said, that's okay. But argue with what she's saying, you know? And a lot of people weren't doing that. And it was just weird to hear people saying, oh, so we're beneath you. You're just like, do you really not know what she said? Or are you purposely creating something entirely different to argue with? Like something's lost. Something's very lost because she said she doesn't want to date bus drivers. And you said, why are you putting bus drivers down? not wanting to date bus drivers, putting someone down. Those are different talking points, you know? So it's just like, what's going on? Am I lost? Am I lost? I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know, and that's just one instance of comprehension skills just being on the floor. Another instance that I can think about are proposals and um, wedding proposals. Because with prom proposal, like with prom season being here, and I think it kind of ended like just like last week or something, it probably just ended everywhere. But prom season is kind of still here or whatever. And I seen this video where one person, they posted a prom proposal. This person asked this person out, boy asked a girl out, a girl said no. And every time there's a prom proposal or a proposal, like a wedding proposal, there are always comments being like, oh, you know, happy she said yes, happy um, y'all are going to prom. But that's only if the people are going to prom together. But when somebody says no to a prom proposal, some people are just like, okay. And then other people are like, oh, how dare she say no? How dare she embarrass you? You're really gonna do that? She's really gonna do that to you? She embarrassed you? I don't know. Whenever we have conversations like this, sometimes I'm just like, I don't know if I have the language to articulate myself but something's feeling misogynistic, you know? But I feel like with prom proposals and stuff specifically, it definitely gets misogynistic, but we'll save that for a little bit later. I seen up here, I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I wanna see. I mean, what, what, what is, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you feel? I don't even know if I wanna put the video that I seen up here, um, but let me just explain the scenario. So, boom. This is one boy, he goes up to this girl and he's like, oh, do you wanna go to prom with me? She says no. Um, and I think she just leaves or something. And then people around her were like, oh, I feel sorry for you, bro. What, she did that? Okay, cool. Not really though. <laughs> and then you go into the comments of the video 
And the comments are just like, wow, she really embarrassed him like that. If that was me, I would have. And then they say something about them inciting violence. And it's just like, it's never that serious. People in public in real time are already shaming the girl for saying no. And then people online are also shaming the girl for saying no. The reason that I brought proposals up is because whenever somebody says no to somebody, it's always, oh, you embarrass them. You could, oh, you embarrass them. You could have said yes and then said no in private. Oh, that's mean. It's all of that. But when you really think about it, when was saying no mean? Like, if somebody just says no, that's it, when was that mean? If somebody asks you a question that you weren't prepared for, like, it's not somebody saying, oh, you said you would babysit. You're saying no last minute? That's, that's entirely different. But if somebody just saying, oh, hey, I'm gonna go to prom, and then somebody else says no, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the correlation of that being mean. I don't know if that's just me though. I I'm looking around. I don't think that's just me. But <laughs> but you never know. You never know. I don't know. But I seen this one person when it came to proposals. They basically said this girl embarrassed the boy. And then somebody was like, no, they didn't. And then the person commented back oh so if your friend has something on their face and y'all and y'all are with a group of friends and you told them publicly would you not be embarrassing them first of all two totally different situations like if your friend has something on their face and you want to tell them to wipe it off you could just go in a corner and say hey wipe it off that's the difference um and also there are more differences a promposal somebody's going out of their way to either they're going out of their way to get their promposal publicly accepted or denied rejected so it's just like they're going out of their way if you see something on your friend's face you're trying to help them out and you can go in a corner you can go privately and tell them so i don't know i feel like if you just have bad examples for your argument your argument just isn't good i don't even think comprehension skills are for argument's sake like they're not just for that people just need to understand what they're consuming and if they're going to form opinions form opinions based off of what's being said form your opinions on what's being said what's being implied insinuated all that stuff like don't just form an opinion based off of i didn't like one thing they said off of this so i'm gonna misconstrue their whole argument and create a whole new narrative you know even if you're not having public conversations about said topic it doesn't matter if it's just your own thoughts like make sure what you're thinking is making sense even if you're having table talk make sure what you're saying is making sense you know anyways i feel like one way you can tell if you have a good argument and if you're understanding what somebody's saying is that if you can come up with a good analogy or a good example of something similar to a situation then you probably have a point you probably have a point point. and i don't know another thing i want to say from this is that like with promposals and i guess what you can say with the ebony k williams situation is that a lot of times I, I feel like misogyny comes into play with some situations because you know how i just said people just want to argue their point without even hearing the other person out or understanding what the other person is even saying not understanding their argument and saying oh i agree with you but literally on a basic level just understanding what people are saying i feel like a lot of people are just like girl i don't like this so i'm gonna argue and when it comes to like proposals and a lot of things a lot of times when women are involved in situations where people want to argue with stuff it's just like you're not you're not actually making sense though proposals specifically when girls and like proposals in general when people say no when women and girls say no a lot of times people are like oh they're being rude that's mean that's why would she embarrass him like that i really want to side eye some people we live in a patriarchal society we we're told so many times that boys should be this and that and people need to and boys need to be tough and we have all these examples of these pages that like to dedicate harmful rhetoric to men and women and it's just like you're helping no one but we already live in a patriarchal society the same people who are arguing that men should be tough and boys should be tough are the same people who get mad when women publicly reject men. I don't know, like when it comes to women rejecting men in public, a lot of people coddle men's feelings, which is just like, I'm sorry, then they go out of their way to publicly 
propose, they should be ready for a public answer, yes or no. Like, good or bad, yes or no. Also, people just love to misrepresent people's arguments so bad. Like, it's just, like, just, just chill. Just chill. All right, thank you for watching my video. More videos coming soon. I don't really know about commentary like that. I don't have a schedule for it, but video diaries, vlogs, stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Bye. I don't know. Just chill. Just chill, dude. Anyways, I don't know.